You were sent down here to do a job. My job is to fly the whirly bird. I've been doing that job just fine. You have the protection of this facility, you eat our food, you drink our water, and you don't lift a finger to help. Neither one of you. <laughs> we don't believe in what you're doing here, Sarah. <laughs> hey, you know what all they keep down here in this cave? Man, they got the books and the records of the top 500 companies. They got a defense department budget down here. And they got the negative for all your favorite movies. They got microfilm with tax return and newspaper stories. They got immigration records and census reports. And they got official accounts of all the wars and plane crashes and volcano eruptions and earthquakes and fires and floods and all the other disasters that interrupted the flow of things in the good old U.S. of A. Now, what does it matter, Sarah, darling? All this filing and record keeping. We ever gonna give a shit? We even gonna get a chance to see it all? This is a great big 14 mile tombstone! With an epitaph on it that nobody gonna bother to read. Now here you come, here you come, with a whole new set of charts and graphs and records. What you gonna do? Bury them down here with all the other relics of what once was? I'ma tell you what is. Yeah, I'ma tell you what is. You ain't never gonna figure it out. Just like they never figured out why the stars are where they're at. It ain't mankind's job to figure that stuff out. So what you're doing is a waste of time, Sarah. And time is all we got left, you know. I'm doing. It's all there's left to do. Shame on you. There's plenty to do. Plenty to do. So as long as there's you and me and maybe some other people, we could start over. Start fresh. Get some babies and teach them, Sarah. Teach them never to come over here and dig these records out. Hey. You want to put some kind of explanation down here before you leave? Here's one as good as any like the find. We've been punished by the Creator. He visited a curse on us. So we might get a look at him. what hell was like. Maybe he didn't want to see us blow ourselves up. Put a big hole in his sky. Maybe he just wanted to show us he was still a bus man. Maybe he figured we was getting too big for our bitches. Trying to figure his shit out. <laughs>